gold standard, baby. Brand new. probably been about two months ever since I've worked on this thing. This was the one time I took it on the snow, but it was limping then. Today we're gonna be doing sore drift event prep and also installing the one mod I think you should do before ever touching or boosting your engine. Besides the standalone going into this thing, also gonna fix this absolutely booty cheeks rear fitment. Fingers crossed this helps with not only making the car look better, but also self-steer because all the weight right now is in the front or a majority of the weight is in the front. So theoretically speaking, lowering the rear should make the front a little bit lighter, giving it better steering control. So fingers crossed, self-steer goes back. And then adding to the list of the link and the rear fitment, I need to fix the driver's door. For some reason, the driver's door does not want to open now. So today we'll be tackling that as well and just getting this thing buttoned up and drift ready for this upcoming weekend, so. G4X is plugged in, and then the vacuum line for the mount sensor is routed and uh, teed in. So, first start. Maybe a little, a little bit of gas. No? So, car will start up and idle for two or three seconds, then it sounds like it's just completely losing fuel and uh, dying. So, that's not too chill. Give it throttle, it just blimps, it's completely dead. Won't output any sort of power, so yeah. He didn't mention that he threw on a stock twin turbo base map, that way we can start this thing up and make sure it runs fine. Um, yeah, and that he turned off the values for intake air temp and everything else that might cause it to throw it into a limp or not let it run. Worst comes to worst, this thing is still gonna get street tuned before we hit the drift event, just to make sure that it's running 100% good. So if it takes waiting a few days to throw in the air temp um, and do AFR, because we haven't thrown the AFR gauge, then so be it. We still have to get it retuned before Saturday. So yeah, not too much of a bummer. Just would've been nice to see that the ECU started right up and never gave us any problems from the get-go, so. I have not, yeah, yeah, I tried to run the car, but it wouldn't start up. Yeah, my wide band's turned over. So it's running? Yeah, yeah, it has power to it. Damn, bro, team viewer is pretty sick. You can just see what you're doing. All right, we're currently getting the car tuned by Mark Panic, or he's just giving me a startup map that way I can turn it on because right now, I just want to crank over as you guys saw producing the video. So I have him remotely on my editing laptop getting me set up respectfully so pretty excited link is super cool look how it can like look how in-depth this offer is all right turn over yeah. all right let's see just died instantly did you replace the fuel pump relay with something no no everything is exactly how i bought it i'm gonna turn the pump on tell me it's running it's pump on yep yeah, it's All running right, right now. Try to start it again. 
Okay. Nope. Well, I mean, I guess you can see my A4s, right? Yeah. How sick. Seems good. Rev it. Uh, Alright, hold on. Going nowhere fast? Yeah. So brutal. I wonder if the pump EC is just not happy. All right, it's officially drift day morning, and uh, let me run you guys through what happened last night. It's super chilly here, but first off, got the XC8s on the rear on the SOAR, uh, running some Accelera 651s. First time running a grippy tire with a minimal camber, even though the wheel is a little bit more cambered in right now because it lowered a little bit. But then last night, I also got the car street tuned. The car performed really, really good. What's left for drift prep? I just got to mount two tires for Rubem on the TEs. I'm gonna be running the RG3s, the Spears for me. And then Rubem's taking his Z. So I'm gonna mount two more spare tires for him, also Accelerator 651s, so he can try them out. I'm gonna get to mounting, get this whole morning session wrapped up really quick, and then uh, I'll catch you guys when we get to SPR. Five hours later. Mark, you want 4K24 or 60? Out of there, so it's not. All right, so we made it to Spare Peaks Raceway. Car was running good yesterday on Street Tune. Got the car tuned perfectly. Uh, about 10 minutes into the street tune doing highway poles, the car started breaking up like it did prior. Uh, but I found bad capacitors in the ECU, so when I found those capacitors, pretty common with these JZX 90 chassis slash SOAR ECUs, just old Toyota ECUs. They tend to just blow capacitors and the capacitors leak all over the board and just fry a bunch of components. So when I got the link, I thought I solved the issue of the breakup because a lot of people say that those capacitors that blow result to breakup. Same issue I had. But as it ends up, my fuel system is trash. So, got to use spare peaks. Did two, three sessions, and on the third session, I started getting breakups on the car. Whenever it hit boost, it would just completely fall on his face. Um, which happened, like I said prior, it happened at the tune day, but what resulted in it was just putting new gas in it. Fixed issue. So, yeah, we opened up the tank and it's completely rusted. We're assuming the fuel filter is clogged, so we're gonna put a new fuel filter in right now. I brought one from home because I ordered it and meant to replace it, but I thought the ECU was the issue, not the filter, so I never did it. I was being lazy, but it caught back up to me. So I'm gonna replace this fuel filter, hopefully go back out and throw down some more laps with the homies. And uh, fingers crossed the car performs. So yeah, unfortunate, but the conditions today are kind of miss, missed too. So it is what it is. All right, I'm on a private. Priming, let him know. Yeah, he said yeah. Okay. Yep, he said put it in something neutral. Let me open up this door. Neutral. No, we're talking about fuel. Where's the other bolts? Okay, raise it. Okay, lower it. Stop. Oh my gosh, this thing. Not leaking? No, we're good here. Okay. Oh my goodness. There you go. Welcome back to Redneck Builds. That's literally what this is. The thing is, is someone cooked here. This is what pisses me off. Someone replaced this line. These bolts were loose. Someone snapped this bolt. So someone's dug in here, saw yeah. this, and just said, you know what, I'm gonna let it be. I think I'm gonna have to take off that little one. Yaman! Uh, dude, that thing's like... I this thing is like brand new. I don't even know why we're messing with it. All right, so we found our problem, or what we think the corporate is. First off, this is my fuel pump. <laughs> you can look at it. Gold standard, baby. Brand new. Gold standard for sure. 
sure. <laughs> Anyways, there's two connecting hoses and one of them had a slit in it. One of them had a little slit in it, so the fuel pump isn't building as much pressure as we'd like. Or that's what we're assuming it is. Luckily, we got the boy, Nate. Just met the guy. He plugged us up with this right here. Some new hoses, so we're throwing that in. Then we're gonna plug the fuel pump back in and fingers crossed this thing makes it through this event. I think once I get home, I'm gonna end up just getting a brand new gas tank from a parts car. Uh, new fuel fuel filter, new fuel pump, just a whole nine yards for the fuel system. But for now, I'm just trying to trying to drive and hopefully this works. So, yeah. First, first lap I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do pulls, like second gear, on throttle, maybe like, you know, tap the throttle a few times. I'm just gonna see like the car, like boost in, boost out, boost in, boost out, see if it breaks up. If it's breaking up, then the car is kind of out for today. If it's uh, not throwing me any issues, then I'll be able to do, you know, like drift the second lap. So we'll see, I don't know. First lap will just be test though. Tell me what the highest number you see is, okay? 10.5. Okay, so we're running Richard, that's nice. Okay, so we have more fuel coming in, so. That's good. Let's try sliding, let's see. super successful day with the sore car performed overall pretty well as you guys saw in the video i had an issue with the fuel system cleaning the fuel pump and replacing those hoses on the fuel pump ended up solving the issue so super big win on that one uh, i was able to run the rest of the day for like an hour and a half with the boys and get some solid laps in super stoked on this car i think the next thing is getting it in and getting that rear end repaired and uh throwing a new gas tank in it because this one's just way too rusty but aside from those two things this thing is freaking built tough super solid Super pumped on it. Super successful event. I think this is where I'm gonna end the video. And uh, see you guys next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, kids, you don't stop.